I have always wanted to visit a castle, but this time I don't have to go to Europe. We got one right here in New York. So we're gonna go check it out, look it all over. And I don't know the history, we'll find out as we get there. Everybody's heard of Thousand Island Dressing. Well, today we're in the actual Thousand Islands of upstate New York. We're in the city of Alexandria Bay, and in a few minutes we're going to be taking a boat ride out to Bolt Castle. Way back in 1900, there was a man named George Bolt, and he was the proprietor of the Astoria Waldorf Hotel in New York City, which was a very prestigious hotel. Now, George, he loved his wife. I mean, he really loved his wife because he bought this island right here, and he built this castle back behind me. Do you love your wife that much? <laughs> I know I do. I would build you a castle. Yes, I would. Anyway, so I'm just kind of looking at the notes here, and it says that uh, he built this uh, as a display of his love for his wife, Louise. Uh, and so he had 300 workers, stonemasons, carpenters, and artists, and so forth. And he built this enormous castle. No expense was spared. He started this in 1900. Now, the problem is, in 1904, his wife suddenly died. It was a big tragedy, and he just couldn't get over it. And so he stopped all work on the castle, and it was never occupied by the Bolt family. The name of the island is Hart Island. Love the heart. <laughs> <laughs> right behind me is the Elster Tower. Now, if some people around here have referred to it as the Playhouse, you can kind of see why. I mean, doesn't it look like a great place to run and play in, uh, even for us older folks? Maybe this is why they call it the Playhouse. <laughs> it's a nickname, of course, but look how tiny it is. Yeah, they're always still working on it. We're in the Elster Tower. If you look over here, there's a picture before 1990. That's what it used to look like with all the decay. They're still restoring this. As you can see over here, there's plaster, lab. You can see the brickwork. They're still restoring all this, but they've got it safe enough that people can come in and check things out. On this other side, you can see some of the tile that originally was in here. A lot of times we go into abandoned places we'll say things like, wouldn't it be great if somebody would restore this? And what a tragedy that they've let this decay so far. Well, here's an example of one that actually is being restored and being done very well. So you can still see some of the work going on. And it's just kind of a long-term process. It'll take a while, but that's okay. We were just talking with the docent, and she was telling us that Alster Tower was the playhouse, so to speak. It was predated 
before the castle. He used to bring over his guests and they would play. They would have fun. This was his entertainment center area. They did all kinds of games and such here, but it was also the relaxing area. They had a kitchen and everything. She also said they just finished the front half and they're working their way towards the back half. When they're finished, it will be completely restored to where it was in the original form. Hey, look what I just found. This is actually a vent, and back behind there is really something interesting. Behind me is the tunnel. That's the bowling alley. We're fixing it. It's beautiful. This is the old power plant building. We've taken you to some pretty busted up places before, and we've all seen power plant videos on YouTube, but have you ever seen one like this? I mean, this place is absolutely perfect. Check this out, a big conference room above. This beautiful building behind me is the Bolts Yacht House. Isn't that amazing? It's huge! The Bolt Castle is behind us. Let's go check it out. Well, we made it to the castle, had our ice cream already, and now we're about to go inside. Let's check it out. As we look around the castle, do remember and keep in mind this castle was never finished and it was derelict for 73 years. These people have done a marvelous job at restoring this place. It is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like a spooky basement right under the stairs. Let's go check it out.
A swimming pool? Yeah. yeah. Oh, very deep. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, I want to see it right now. Oh. I want to walk down it. Yeah, there is a lot more. Let's go check this out. Okay. Barrels of imported ceramic tile. That's incredible. All this was just sitting there. Of all this, there's a flower park. That is beautiful. They did an amazing job restoring this place. Now let's head upstairs.
have here? Detailed plans of the Bolt Castle. That's incredible. Take a picture so we can build one of our own. <laughs> yeah. This is plaster, which is far superior to sheetrock. Everybody uses sheetrock nowadays because it's simple and easy. But in the old days, plaster was the way to go. So what they would do is you had your you had your substrate here, and then they had a kind of a Portland cement mix. Now this Portland cement mix is probably I'm going to say it's about an inch and a half thick right here, and then right over the top, this really thin layer of the actual plaster itself. And this is what gives it that super smooth, nice finish. It's pretty amazing to see an old place being restored, but getting to have the public come in and actually see the different sections that are still being restored is incredible. It's absolutely wonderful to see the different things they used and how they used to build it. It's amazing. That means there's a hole in the floor and they have to cover that. <laughs> so where are you headed now? Yeah, third or fourth, I don't really kind of lost count. Four. Fourth floor? Yes. Okay. Wow. Here you can see the uh, original construction where they uh, probably had it plastered at one time. Here you can see the top of the stained glass dome that uh, shines down over the staircase. It's actually in its own uh, weather protected area. You can see the light or the windows way up above. And uh, I imagine they probably had lights at some point to illuminate this thing at night. That's the tower room way back over there. Let's see if we can adjust that. There we go. There's, there's the tower room which we don't get to, to go into. I think I have a fireplace over here. Yeah, this place has a lot of fireplaces. Uh, let me show you the view out the window here. That is incredible. Look at the workmanship there, the, the stonework, the, uh, the slate roof, the copper. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, that round window over there or just the details. I mean, the details of that thing are incredible. I wish this window wasn't so dirty. Now we don't have to worry about the dirty window. But you can see the details much better. This is incredible. Another stairway, another floor. Let's go. How many floors is this? Five, six, seven? I don't know. <laughs> I think this is five or six. Well, can you imagine how many plasters it took to do this entire castle? Like the way oh, this is the end. What is it? It's what bolted. Oh, oh. oh, look so at that. What do we have here? The camera gets to see. Check it out, folks. What it's do the we tower. Have? Or a roof. Wait a minute, that looks like another stairway over there. There is another stairway. It goes to a door which goes outside. Oh, cool. So this is the top of the castle, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, well check out those big iron uh, I beams there with uh, rivets and everything. I was looking at the teddy bear at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs>
Wow. Yes. Someday this too will be restored and we can go in there and so can you if you come. But this room is not so bad, we can't come into it. Right. Here's, here's one of those round windows. Yeah. That's what they're saying. People are facing the front I think it connects. This here is an absolute no no. There's not to be any graffiti. We're absolutely exhausted. We've been up and down floors. I don't know how many floors we went up, but there must have been four or five, maybe six, including the attic. And it's pretty hot here today and kind of humid. There's one more tower that we need to explore, and that's the one behind me. Uh, a wedding just broke up here, so we can now go inside. At one time, you could get up there, but they take the ladders down. Back behind me, you see the remains of the old fountain. The old fountain, of course, was busted up and just didn't work anymore. So in the spirit of restoration, what they've done is they've taken it all down, they poured a new foundation, and they're gonna build it back up exactly the way it was before, so it'll look like it was when it was brand new. And that's really the goal here at the castle, is to make everything look like it did the day that it would have been finished had Mr. Bolt not stopped the construction back after his wife died. So we'll get to enjoy some things that, that they didn't get to enjoy. So uh, thank you, Mr. Bolt, for, for starting such a wonderful work that we get to enjoy today. Well, that's it for today here at the Bolt Castle. Thank you for coming and joining us in this amazing adventure, getting to see unfinished and restored parts of the castle as it's being done. If you're ever in upstate New York, you got to come check this place out. It is at least three, four hours in a day that you're going to want to spend here so you can casually take your time. Hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Thanks again.